Hello everybody, this is The Beast Friends. So, David Lean went on a 10 year plus hiatus after the release of Ryan's Daughter. Why? Because somebody wrote a review that was apparently so bad that he took so much offense to that simply quit the movie business for over 10 years, depriving us of at least two great David Lean movies. Whoever wrote that review, fuck you, fuck you all the way, because you deprived us of at least two good David Lean movies. Let's talk about if this movie was worthy of such a scourging review, shall we? This is Ryan's Daughter. mentioned Ryan he lives on the coast of Ireland this is 1916 shortly after the Eastern Rebellion and he is a true Irish nationalist he's also working as a kind of a double agent and feeding you know the British um, you know tips about uh, the IRA's uh, uh, dose and what they're doing and the, their plans and stuff like that this is you know a complete secret to everybody and nobody knows about it his daughter falls in love with a school teacher played by Robert Mitchum and they, you know, uh, have a marriage and um, then this marriage turns into a very, you know, unhappy marriage because Robert Mitchum isn't really committed to the whole marriage thing and doesn't want to boink Ryan's daughter or whatever. The thing is that she falls in love with maybe the most unpractical thing an Irish woman could do uh, during this period, this during the uh, First World War. She falls in love with a um, British officer that is uh, you know, stationed in the nearby. And there they start a very passionate and very intimate relationship in total secret. The question is, how long can they keep up this charade and what will happen when people find out about it? And also, Will the Irish question about, about independence, you know, turn catastrophically violent and stuff like that? Because the IRA is bringing lots of guns and uh, will the Eastern Rebellion just be, you know, a prelude to an all-out war? We shall see. This movie has, in all, a pretty bad reputation, but I will say that most of the complaints I have about this movie is mostly due to the fact that this movie is 200 minutes long. There are different versions out there. I've seen the 200 minute version and it was absolutely too much. They have maybe a plot for two hours and they decided to throw in one hour and 20 minutes more. That was so excessive that I thought, Jesus fucking Christ, man, it is too much. Um, another problem this movie settled with is how incredibly boring it actually is because there is a lot of time that's being spent for the setup before we actually get to the interesting bits that aren't that interesting because most of the characters in this movie are not very fun and not very interesting. For instance, one of my favorite actors of all time, Robert Mitchum, is horrendously miscast and we don't believe him for a second that he is this, you know, Irish school teacher that is being betrayed by his wife so he can go and boink some uh, British soldier. The rest of the cast, well, they're just there. There is nothing wrong with them, they're just not that interesting. But from a craftsman perspective, this movie is absolutely fantastic because the cinematography is gorgeous, the sets are amazing, the environment they're shooting at is fantastic. You really feel like you're there in World War I in, on the Irish coast. It has never looked better. So David Lean's fingerprints are all over this place, but it is just too much. Three hours and 20 minutes are just too much. And then the movie is finished with a pretty lame and pretty uninteresting finish to the whole thing. Maybe it is because the movie is kind of sort of based a little bit on Madame Bovary. I have never read Madame Bovary. I don't know how closely it follows, you know, that story. If it demanded that uh, you were gonna have this finish, but nevertheless, it felt a little bit, that's your finish. After we've sit three hours and 20 minutes, you're gonna give us this finish? Okay then. If you've never seen a David Lean movie, he has done some of my favorite movies of all time, Dr. Zhivago. 
Lawrence of Arabia, The Bridge on the River Kwai, and uh, Apache through India. See those movies and skip Ryan's Daughter. Ryan's Daughter is not per se a bad movie. It has an interesting story that should have been told in two hours, not three and a half almost. I don't know why this movie doesn't work. It is not only because it is too long, it is also because it is just a little bit boring, it's a bit predictable, and also there is so much stuff that is not happening in this movie. There are moments here and there where the epic scope of this story really you know, pays off, including one of the most uncomfortable, one of the most gruesomely awful sequences I have ever seen. It is a really great sequence, it's really horrible, and it is really gross, but I'm glad it's there because at least it is something that leads to somewhere, even though the payoff to it is a little bit, eh, what are you gonna do? Ryan's Daughter is fantastically made, but is too excessive, too masturbatorial, you know, excessive stuff, a bit like Heaven's Gate, but better. I give this movie 31 points. It is, by and large, a good story with a fantastic craftsmanship surrounding it, but it is simply just too damn long. David Lean, I love you, but this movie, it was just too much. So I'll see you next time from Well So and So Reviewing Well, such and such. Thank you for watching, thank you very much.